It's the NFC Championship game, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through New York. It's the Vikings and the Giants. All that and more coming up next. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. No bigger stage than this one. Sold out MetLife Stadium, located just outside of New York City. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the New York Giants. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be. The winner here, of course, a trip to Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Not a bad prize as we are underway in the NFC Championship game. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they'll be let out by their left-handed quarterback. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Davis will try to run for it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll look to throw now on first down. And incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Back to throw now on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. And that went to the right side and incomplete. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. The Vikings send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. So now here are the Giants backed up to start their first drive. And they'll be led out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball, run it inside, everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. This second and four. Off play action, McCarthy. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Fighting his way through contact. It's a big-time play there for the G-Man. 41 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Off the play fake. McCarthy. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
Now on first and goal, a chance to get a leg up in this. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Giants have struck first in this NFC title game. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ballgame. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. They'll set up a throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The first down carry for Davis. Room here to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 27. That's complete. Bernard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. They'll look to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Now we've got a Giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second and nine now. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there, tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Pushing his way through. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. And that will be incomplete as well. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Looking to throw. McCarthy. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Throwing on first down. McCarthy. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. A second and 10. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. From the gun on third down. McCarthy out to the right here to Wilson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll run here with Edwards. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants have taken the lead here in this NFC Championship game. Now for the point after. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Taken at about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Getting this ball out wide for Davis. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there. And this will wind up being a third and three. Here's Davis running right. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And a throw right sideline is complete. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now back to throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of it. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On first and 10, McCarthy toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Here's second and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts 
As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring him second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. 13 seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached... Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. On first down, McCarthy. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And yet again, he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Great job by this Vikings defense. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Throwing on first down. McCarthy got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Here's the option. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Well, he gave one defender the slip, but others waiting in the wings and dropping him behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Here's a handoff out of the gun. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Here's third and seven. Operating from the gun. McCarthy, a bullet throw, but incomplete. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. This a 33-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Now second and nine. They'll set up the screen with Davis. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They go play action here on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and one. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. The throwing left sideline there but it's incomplete. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. And now another one thrown in 
incomplete. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And New York set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. We're backed up here. Tough spot, needing 11 yards. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. And the Giants send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. They begin with a run by Davis. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. That one a first down pickup of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. Second and four. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Back to throw here. To the left sideline and incomplete. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And the catch made by Johnson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Vikings on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is the and a big loss here as he's taken down. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fights through him. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And it'll be giant football first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. Off play action. McCarthy. 
This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. On first and 10, McCarthy. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Here's third and 10. Operating from the gun. McCarthy throwing left side. It's complete. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Well, I'm not quite sure how he got away from that first tackler, but he won't even be able to get it back to the line of scrimmage there as the defense rallies behind him. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Third and goal here. A big play brewing in this NFC title game. Edwards. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And this one is right through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. From 6 yards away. And the Vikings have made it a one-score game again here in the 4th. Extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this 4th quarter. beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 and the Giants ready to come out now after the touchdown we just saw we have a brand new ball game and now look at the situation you got plenty of time on the clock defensively they have three timeouts so do you run the football here or do you throw it I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit and you tell them here's the situation They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven, and it will be Vikings ball first and ten. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down 20 to 17. A little under two and a half to go. A field goal sends this championship game to overtime as they've got a first and 10. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Super Bowl aspirations on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. After the penalty, it's Davis. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is going to have a New York first down, and the Giants are going to win the football game. And they'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. The Giants are the champions of the NFC as we say thanks for watching and good night. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.